how did you uh, come to this idea? Yeah. How was the company formed? Yeah, I, I'm actually almost 20 years in the integration space. I started back uh, 2001 in a small company uh, in the integration space. It was so like four years later. I was doing mainly customer success, a lot of implementation in Israel and globally. Uh, I learned inside out, you know, basically how to deliver an integration product, a project in the, my first years. Uh, and then I moved to R&D. I spent like five, six years in R&D for a global company who owned actually the, uh, purchased the startup at the time. Um, I was kind of obsessed, you know, with doing it better. You know, it was, I, I didn't like the architecture. I didn't like the, the R&D approach to solving problem. I was, at some point I became the chief architect I was tr of that product. I was trying to uh, refactor it to, into a way that it could do, but it, it was built in, in, a, in a wrong way to my, my, my approach. The open source movement started back then 10, 12 years ago, strongly became a signi very significant. Uh, I saw at the time, you know, if looking back at 2008, 2010, technologies like Spring and Hibernate and automation tools like Ruby on Rails became very popular. This is how you build application. And I said, why at some point, why can it not be applied to integration? Integration was controlled by large proprietary black boxes and handled in its own domain. And I, and I looked at it and say, it could be solved by code, standard code generation using standard Java framework tools and so on. In the same fashion, you're building a API or a front-end application that connect to a database. You can basically do the same in integration, again, based on my deep knowledge and how integration actually work. Uh, and that's, you know, I started coding at night, you know, like crazy, you know, it was kind of a life mission. A classic garage uh, coding. Yeah, experience. classic, you know, classic, uh, not the garage couch coding, but I would say, <laughs> but uh, uh, with small kids in, in the house in, around me, but we're coding until 2, 3 a.m. every night, you know, after, after job, um, after our work. Uh, and after a few months, I had a prototype, you know, just like uh, I did also some project at the time, consulting and so on. So I, I saw the, the demand. I heard the market say, no, no, no one's going to invest in legacy technologies. Uh, but I, I, I saw tons of needs of clients uh, and I saw lack of, you know, modern tools and so on. And we look, there's no major investment in the, especially the, especially the legacy integration space, you no, know, in the last 10, 15 years, no major startup arrived. There are integration, modern integration platforms, so on, but they, they don't care about legacy. Legacy is, okay, let the IT open API somehow and we'll, we'll integrate it to the cloud and so on. Uh, and I started that fashion. You know, uh, I met Romy at some point, uh, the CEO today, uh, which is a nice story. Yeah, <laughs> that's my that. next question. Yeah. <laughs> And again, and again, the, the open legacy, you know, name just rise whenever I did, the moment I had the idea, uh, and it's still there on the <laughs> on the door and everywhere. Uh, yeah, and it was it was, was it's it still a long journey, but yeah, we are feeling very comfort and very happy with this journey so far. Mm -hmm.